hi everyone so welcome to today's session or today's class so today we are going to discuss about the things on the certification exam how to give the certification exam how to book for a exam so those kind of things we have to discuss about okay in the last class of the certification we have seen how you can go for a booking for a, a like uh, exam attempt or how you can buy for attempt those kind of things we have already discussed so there were some questions that uh, how we can go for the exam what are the things are there before we are going to the exam what things we need to consider so we will be discussing on those topics in today's class so you are already also having the question on the classes that is regular classes on s4 hana and regular classes on ewm those classes will come on a regular basis so i know in the last week we have not uploaded a single class due to this um, i would say about the holiday timings okay due to this new year timings there was no classes were uploaded uh, so it will be coming soon so as for hana class first class we have means the fifth class we have uploaded in this uh, week we have started uploading one more class will come in this week for sure and uh, ewm classes mostly it will come in tonight or maybe by tomorrow morning will be coming the next class and uh, one more class will be coming through the this week okay so as i promised we will try to create those classes as per the as we have discussed like two classes per week for both of the uh, modules okay so don't worry about that it will come so stay tuned with uh, this channel okay stay tuned with me so definitely we will be covering all of those topic okay so now let's start with the certification so this is basically a sap learning hub you can see this page this is a sap learning hub page we have already discussed or we have already seen this page right so here you can see if you are having a s user id then you can come to this uh, learning hub access you can take the learning hub access if your company is providing it okay so in the learning hub what are the things are there so here you can find the home so here you can find what are learning plans you are having whatever the things are you are having so you can have a uh, all courses over here whatever things you are enrolling then if you go to the learn page or learn tab if you are going here you can find all of the learnings that are available right now okay so here you can see um, learning hub aba programming aba programming in hana uh, aerospace and defense acquiring um, core abap skills so these are some of the courses that are available so here you can find for your uh, requirement whatever trainings are there let's say i will say s for okay i will say mm if i search for that one it will show me whatever things are there for mm okay or if i say about the ewm it will find me whatever courses are there for ewm okay as for hana extended warehouse management supply chain execu <laughs> execution this will give me this next one is content library here you can find the contents that are related to the learning okay so here you can find the learning whatever things are there so you can find the content library over here okay all of the contents you will be finding over here in the collaborate area let's say if you want to um, add something from yourself then you can add something over here let's say you want to create a learning room or you want to uh, go into a learning room or you want to share some ideas so these kind of things you can provide it over here in the uh, collaborate okay next one is your practice tab so in the practice tab basically you will be getting the free servers okay free sap servers you will be getting from here okay so here you can find all systems are there you can see bw hana data modeling here you can see analytics cloud here you can see the augmented analytics exercise here you can find the ibp 100 sap ibp for supply chain so here you can find all of the system that is available for free from sap where you can practice okay 
so it is all related to some courses okay br2 uh, 320 uh, 230 or bit 102 bw 430 this is related to some courses okay so if you are practicing or if you are going to learn this course then you can enroll for this practice server and you can practice for mostly for 15 days these practice servers will be available for 15 days only okay so if you click on enroll here you can find from 4 July to 4 January to 18th of January okay 13 days or 15 days it will be there so now next one is certify so if you are planning for exam then you can come to this certify page so here you can find the certification which certification you have given here you can find all certification list of all certifications okay so now here you can come to here you can see schedule your exam access to the certification hub schedule your exam so you have to click over here so here whenever you are coming to this certification hub first thing you have to do you have to install the question mark secure this is a software which will allow you to give the exam okay so exam means online we are surfing through page by page we are uh, going through the questions and we are giving through the answer so that thing will be done by the question mark secure software it will allow you to join the exam or give the exam okay then next thing is test communication and bandwidth if you want to check if your connection is proper or not if you are having a proper bandwidth or not you can check it over here okay so this is the base basic two things first you have to do unless you are installing this question mark secure you are not going to give the exam you will not be able to give the exam so first thing you have to do this thing and one more thing i will uh, share so whichever system whichever laptop you are going to give the exam in that system you have to install this one let's say you are practicing in your office system or you are practicing in your uh, personal laptop but you are giving the exam in your office laptop or any other laptop and there you are not installing the question mark secure you will not be able to give the exam so whichever system you are using or you are going to use to give the exam there you have to install the question mark secure okay this is the first thing second thing here you can see there are three tabs are there first thing is home tab here you can find some information about the certification hub next one is exam dashboard if you go to the exam dashboard here you can find what are the attempts are there whatever the exams you have given what are the results are there you can find it and here you can schedule your exam okay if you are having some attempts then you can schedule your exam so whenever you are clicking on schedule exam it will take you to the exam list whichever uh, certifications are there certification exams are there here you can find all of those things okay so here you can go scroll through so whichever things let's say i will go for s4ewm 2020 if you click on here it will show you a calendar button you can schedule your appointment here you can see the languages are there english german and japanese so english is good for everyone so you can click on over here so first you have to select the time zone time zone is mostly asia and we have to find the uh, Kolkata okay so here you can find the Kolkata now you have to select the date so let's say you are selecting tomorrow's date any date you can available you, you can avail okay so you have to check for this date whichever appointment time or whichever slots are available okay so if you are prepared for the exam it is better to take a exam appointment or take a exam appointment after that let's say 15 days of time the, today is 4th of january i will take a exam appointment till 20th or 31st of january then i will prepare myself for the exam okay so now i'll select the date here you can see the timing okay here you can see the timings are there F from here you can take a slot okay from 12 am in the morning to 11:30 in the night 
the slots are available you can take any of the slots over here from here you can take any slots when you click on save appointment it will generate an appointment for you okay so whenever you are clicking on save appointment it will generate an appointment it will send an email to your mail id whichever mail id you have registered it will send an email that you have uh, booked for an exam okay i'm not saving this one so once you are saving this one once you are saving this one you can go to the exam appointment so here in the top once you are going for any kind of exam or once you are going for uh, means you have taken an appointment it will show you over here okay in the white line you can see the white things are there so here you can see a line for your exam code okay so which exam you are going to uh, attend date and exam code date and time everything like your location your uh, time zone everything will be shown over here okay next to that one one enter exam button will be there okay when it will be activated before 15 minutes of the exam let's take an example of this one so let's say it is on 7 uh, 7:30 or 19:30 pm so at 19:15 or 7:15 pm it will open the enter exam button over here so here you can find a tab so let me just let me just schedule an exam and show you okay it will be better So exam anytime also you can cancel no issue on that if you are seeing that you are not prepared you can cancel your exam okay okay EWM. okay this one let's say i will uh, okay I will take this one. I will take tomorrow's date. I will take the time as let's say I will take as 7:30 p.m. Seven save appointment. Okay, now you can see there is a timer is showing over here because you are having an exam. Okay, so now if I go to the exam appointment. So now you can see upcoming exam is showing okay uh, this is exam title this is the booking code this is the time zone this is the exam date here you can see start exam below the start exam there is no button is right now but before 15 minutes of your exam time it will show you a button to enter okay now one more suggestion from me whenever the exam time is there join before 10 to 15 minutes okay join before 10 to 15 minutes once the button is showing over here try to join if you have logged in before one hour or half an hour or so so it will sometime it will not uh, show the button because of refreshing of the page it will not show so you can just refresh the page okay or reload the page it will show you it will show you to enter the exam over here once you are entering the exam then one exam it is proctor will be there proctor means it is a uh, let's say there will be a guide or invigilator will be there who will be uh, checking your uh, let's say identity and allowing you to the, give the exam okay so we will understand about that process now once you are clicking on start exam from here okay you are entering into the exam then one proctor will come okay proctor when the proctor will be coming mostly they will be coming by time okay they will be if you are joining a bit faster let's say you are joining from before 15 minutes or 10 minutes mostly they will be coming after some time okay so there will be a notification will be going to the proctor and that uh, student is waiting in the exam area so they have to come and they have to check your 
uh, like whatever details they will be verifying you okay now whatever what things they will verify first thing they will be checking your identity okay so mostly have two identity cards one uh, let's say one is a other card one is a pan card or any other government provided id you can take it with you okay so that they will be checking first thing they will be checking okay so before that one once you are joining here once the proctor is coming they will send you a zoom link okay so zoom link means zoom meeting link they will be providing you you have to uh, join that zoom link okay and you have to uh, let's say you don't have a zoom um, uh, software in your system then you can join through the web version also no problem so you can join through the web link also in the web also you can join so after you are joining the zoom you have to do three things first thing you have to start your video second thing you have to unmute yourself third thing you have to share your screen these three things will be continuing till your exam is finished okay you have to be on the video mode you have to be on unmute means you should not mute your voice and third thing you have to share your screen till the exam is getting finished okay these three things should be there so after you are going on the video mode and screen sharing mode so they will be asking you to close any other let's say whatever tabs you have opened any other screens you have opened they will be asking you to close all those things okay so just open the this examity this uh, screen will be exam screen will be there except that nothing will be there okay one zoom screen will be there one exam screen will be there that's enough okay so now they will be asking you to provide your uh, identity okay so now you have to share your identity uh, you, you have to uh, show the identity card to them okay now they will be asking you to uh, let's say revolve your camera through the room in which room you are sitting you are going to give the exam they will be asking you to show the room to them means uh, from top to bottom uh, 360 view they will be asking you to show there should be no one with you there should be no other systems with you and one more thing you should not have any electronic devices like your mobile phones or your smart uh, watches you don't have you should not be having them with you okay so that is the basically the criteria for going for the exam once these criteria is fulfilled uh, the proctor is satisfied with the uh, let's say with the exam area with your identity they are uh, they are satisfied with all this they will ask you to join the exam okay they will send you the next page they will allow you to go to the next page and there you have to accept certain terms and conditions will be there you have to uh, select yes for all then you have to select the exam uh, terms and conditions also then you can start your exam so that is all about how you can give the exam okay that's it for today we will meet up again uh, in next class till then bye bye and take care and if you are having any questions any doubt regarding the certification exam you can uh, uh, mention in the comments okay i'll try to answer them if i know something about it i will try to answer them till then bye bye and take care